guys welcome back to another episode of medieval dynasty so this is our last episode of the season just want a quick reminder that we will um be starting uh going medieval which is a different game uh next uh season so basically during the winter we'll be um doing that particular game so we will come back to this one in the future though uh this is basically uh, done for at least a year um, because it's um, not on next year's schedule, but it will be um, We'll come back to it in like not next year, but the year after probably uh, same with going medieval um, in the same case But with that aside, uh, we will start working on the resource shed So we needed to get uh, this all built we have we should have tons of logs now So I just need to get them out of here. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to look up the um, the cost of basically upgrading it. I'm, I'm almost wondering if we can save the save the hammer and stuff, and basically just go ahead and craft up the resources that we'll need for the resource shed, and go ahead and quickly upgrade it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all this stuff out there. Uh, I'm not sure if it will roll down. Yeah, it looks like it's on a slant. That's unfortunate. Okay, um... We'll need to know where we can actually stand in order to... Build this, then. And then what I'll do is I'll try to, uh, move the resources o over to here. Or wherever I need to build. So we need to go to storage, and then... So we should be able to put it up against this bench and then just stockpile all the stuff here for now, I guess. So put that here. I'm sure these are going to roll this way. So... Yeah, we should be able to do it from there, I guess. And I'll just make sure that we have all the resources we need to basically build this before we go ahead and uh, replace the structure. So that will that way we'll have a chance at automatically building it. I read it on Wiki that you can just build it with logs, but I'm not sure if that's outdated information or not. So we'll just make sure that we have all the supplies ready and then we can go ahead and build it. Just move all these out here. And... Then we can get started with that part. Okay, so that's... One, two, three, four, five...
right, so I got uh, some stuff that we need to sell. Uh, we'll go into town and we'll see if we can't sell some of this stuff. Um, let's see what... Uh, I got the barn built, by the way. It it turns out Wiki was wrong. I, I had a feeling that it might have been. It, was, it looked pretty outdated. There was one or two comments saying that the Wiki, the Wiki page for this game isn't exactly up to date, so it seems like they might have changed something more recently or something like that, and it's not possible to build, like, upgrade the ha the building without needing to hammer every piece in, but uh, that's okay. I ended up building it anyways, How can I help and you? Whatever you need, I've got it. we can go ahead and sell some shoes. Uh, she should have all the money back now, so that's good. Uh, we can sell these wooden bowls, uh, some of these used bowls. Uh, I, I figure we'll just start clean with all the new bowls and stuff like that. I left about 100 for the uh, cook to go through, so hopefully that will help a little bit. And then we can sell the buckets. And we have feathers left over, but I just want to see. So how much is this worth? $3, and the feathers are worth 2 so we'll sell the feathers. And that'll get us to there. So we'll go ahead and sell the remaining seeds. And there's some more buckets that Goodbye. we need to get through at the base. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, how much money did we get? 2000 for that. That's not too bad. That's pretty much our taxes for the year. So a little bit of a lag spike there. Not sure what went on. All right. So we'll go back to the... Um, base and we'll go ahead and uh, set up or grab the remaining the buckets. We have a lot of sticks too so we should probably get some baskets or something made just so we have less sticks. <laughs> we have a lot of sticks. We have like um, 763 sticks so <laughs> we can definitely make some buckets. Uh, we'll grab that and we'll go ahead and grab the, the feathers that are still there. Uh, the buckets will fill up. Uh, we can turn these vases into something, I guess, and sell those. Um, or we could use them for the houses, I guess. I'll leave them in here for now. And I'll just see if there's anything else that we can grab. Make some baskets up, I guess. Or probably do that in a little bit. I want to grab these buckets, though. And then I'll go back into that town and we'll sell these things quickly.
All right, so I ended up putting a bunch of flowers in the houses around here. We got uh, these uh, two pots per thing on the lower part. There's still the house up in the mountains that we still have to add some flower pots to. But um, I like the, the look of those ones because they're kind of round. But uh, we need to get back to making some baskets. So I'm going to go ahead and craft up probably about 10 more. Uh, we can make up to like 50 though, so... Maybe 15 and we'll just keep doing this until we can get a reasonable amount of baskets to sell and this will help with our crafting skill as well uh, I think it's production so I can't remember if it's one of the things that I need to basically get the full advancement or not but um, or full on like I don't know what it, achievements is that what Steam calls it I think I think Steam calls it achievements. So, um, I want to get to 100% unlocked, right, for this game. And I'm really close. I just need a few of the, uh, I think it's like hunting. Oh, yeah, we should probably go hunting, too. Try to keep up on that each season. But, um, yeah, we still have the main quest line that we have to finish. Uh, we're not going to be able to do that today, but... It, um, next season we'll be able to work on that. We're really close to finishing the main storyline, uh, not too far away from finishing it at least. And then we have a second um, NPC that has their own quest line, which we'll have to do. But um, yeah, so there's that, and then there's side quests still that we can do, and growing our towns, and. Uh, we'll have a whole bunch of new buildings eventually get unlocked as we progress and stuff, so that will be good, too um, Just trying to keep people busy and make sure that they have enough resources is really important It's very a management game, but also survival Even though that we haven't really run into any bandits lately, but I've kind of made sure of that <laughs> by putting fences in their locations so at least along the routes that we have to travel all right, so we have five of those, or 15 of those now. So we should have, how many baskets? 25 at about 20 per price. We'll see if we can't sell those up. And I might come back and craft up some more. I'm not sure just yet. So. There's still a guy in this town that we can go ahead and um, sell a bunch of stuff to. So we'll see if we can't do that.
Alright guys, so we got lots of stuff done. We got the uh, storage shed uh, basically built, so it's uh, complete. We got all that stuff uh, set up and everything's still pretty much the same. I put the planks back over here and I put some storage down for basically um, excess storage that we need to store things in. Um, over on this side I have a couple extra barrels as well. I just thought that would be a nice little location for them to um, basically for selling stuff we can put our things that we're going to sell into these and then we can easily transfer it and I picked some berries so we got a bunch of berries uh, ready for that but we don't have enough for a couple extra seasons so next um, season when we go to record the game I'm gonna have to go ahead and try to remember to pick more berries so we have at least a steady supply of um, barrels and stuff and then I placed a couple barrels over here for the food storage just in case we can store some dry goods um, for uh, production and stuff like um, things like flour and stuff like that um, not a lot of food actually can go in here but we could probably put buckets and stuff in for excess just in case we need to stock up on buckets and stuff as well but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out